What's the most boring photography location? An empty field? An open park? A small suburban town? We've all been to places we feel uninspired in, and it's really easy to blame the location. But over years of photography experience, I've learned the reason you're bored is not because of your location, it's because of you. Photographers have taken beautiful images in boring locations since the beginning of the camera. And before that, artists would paint famous paintings in boring locations all across the world. What's so fascinating about a bowl of fruit on a table, for example? There's really not much to it. But it's not about the subject itself. It's about how the artist perceives the subject and how they want to tell the story to the viewer. When we live in one spot for a long time, we start to see our subjects the same way we always have. And so the first thing you need to do is start to see your subjects differently. We have to break out of our patterns, our typical habits and routines, and force ourselves to see our subjects differently. This can be done by experimenting with different perspectives. Instead of the eye level shot, maybe you start from a very low angle and see how that looks. Maybe try an angle where you can put your camera up high and see your subjects from down below. Try shooting at different times of day, different seasons. Try experimenting with black and white. There's lots of ways to force yourself to change your perspective on your subject. But there won't be a change externally until we force ourselves to make that change internally. Going out with a plan is another way to trick yourself into finding new photos. Similar to the painting comparison earlier, it's really hard to sit in front of a blank canvas and tell yourself, go paint something good. But creating a plan before you go out can help you notice things you maybe haven't noticed before. Things like specific compositions, close-ups, textures, shapes, leading lines, shadows. If you look up photography challenges lists on Google, it'll give you dozens and dozens of different ways that you can go out in the same location and get different photos, different results every time. The part where most people fail and where you can succeed is when people veer off from their plan. If you're going out trying to shoot leading lines photography and you see a portrait that looks good in one passing moment, don't stop to take that portrait. Instead, take note of it, the location, where the person was standing that made you interested and save it for when you go out to take your portraits. People don't usually do this because they get scared of missing that perfect shot. But this is how you turn a boring location into something you're continuously excited about. You're no longer just taking photos of one big area, but now every shoot can be focused on different elements of that area. Sometimes the, the best photography advice is really just life advice, and that's applicable to a lot of different hobbies. Ask yourself, how have you gotten out of boredom in your life in the past, whether it's photography related or not? For me, I have found that work, looking at creative works of other people of all kinds can usually enhance that creative spark or innovative thought and kind of get me out of that rut, whether it's, you know, looking at photography work of other people, how have they photographed in boring locations, watching one of my favorite movies that has, you know, interesting compositions or lighting, or even just listening to my favorite music. Anything that can get you out of that bored mindset into feeling creative 
can really help you get out of that photography rut that a lot of people get in when they get bored of their location. The last big piece of advice I would give to turn a boring location into something a bit more exciting is to really analyze the spot itself. Every area has something that makes it unique or special and has a story to tell. It's just a matter of finding what that is. Someone on the other side of the world probably has this boring little park that means nothing to them and they feel very, they feel like it's very mundane and no one would have any interest. But for you, maybe it's got different architecture than you're used to or new colors or a different structure that you're not familiar with and that would make it exciting for you. Your boring location has that same idea for someone else. So how can you identify what those aspects are that make your location interesting? And how can you take an image to tell that story in the best way possible? If we're in an empty hallway and it feels like there's no subject, maybe we tell the story of loneliness and what that looks like. Or if it feels like there's no subject at all, maybe we get in close, tell the story of all these little worlds that we walk by every day without thinking about. There's a story to be told in every area. Sometimes it just takes a bit more work to figure out what that story is. Mm -hmm.